Hey guys, uh, in this screencast we're going to talk about building seventh chords. Um, a seventh chord is basically uh, another chord like a triad except it has four different pitches instead of just three and it's called a seventh chord because from the root up to the top uh, to that fourth different node is a seventh. So we're going to organize this based on your knowledge of triads and so we're going to organize it into the three triad there are three triad types that you should know the major triad the minor triad and the diminished triad so let's take a look at seventh chords built off of the major triad we're going to do it in the key of g major just because um, it's just it's easier to deal with um, it's in the staff and easier to read so we're going to start with the uh, in g major and we're going to build a g major triad Okay, here's your G major triad, and the first type that we're going to look at is, we're going to add a, another seventh here. You'll notice that's an F sharp, so G to F sharp is, uh, what is a major seventh. We have a major seventh from G to F sharp plus that major triad. So this is known as the major, major seventh chord. In shorthand, it's typically written just simply as major seventh. Okay, so that's one type. The next type, the second type using a G major triad, so we'll build another one. And another one, this time it's going to use a minor 7. So from the root to the top note here, this is, you'll notice these are both in root position from the root to the top note. That is a minor 7th. So a major triad plus a minor 7th, it's known as a major minor seventh, and that's typically how you'll uh, you'll write that out. Okay, so those are your two that are based just on uh, the major triad. So let's take a look at one based on the minor triad. So not B natural, we want a B flat to make that minor third, perfect fifth. Okay, and actually we're going to use a minor seventh. So this is a minor triad with a minor seventh on, uh, on top there. This is known as a minor minor seventh, and more commonly known as a minor seventh. Okay, and it's in fact the only seventh chord that we're going to talk about that has a minor triad. So if you're analyzing minor, um, if you're analyzing seventh chords and you see a minor triad in there, you'll know that it's going to be a minor minor seventh. It's good to double check in case you looked at that triad wrong, but if you you're sure you see a minor seventh. A uh, minor triad, it's going to be a minor minor seventh chord. So let's look at the, the third type. N notice we're not going to use any augmented triads. The augmented triad doesn't apply in the music that we look at um, in terms of creating seventh chords. The other, the other triad type we're going to look at is the diminished triad. So let's build a diminished triad off of G. So minor third above that is B flat. Then we want a diminished fifth. Remember, a diminished triad has that diminished fifth. Okay. Now we're going to create, the first thing we're going to create is a minor 7th from the root. So a diminished triad plus a minor 7th is known as a half diminished 7. Uh, I'm going to try and draw the little symbol here. It's kind of small. Let's see if you can see it. It's the diminished symbol, but there's a slash through it. And that, so, uh, that's kind of the shorthand that you would write to indicate that that's a half diminished seventh. And then finally, I'm gonna create another diminished seventh here. Okay, diminish triad rather. And then we're gonna create not a net, not a minor seventh, but a diminished seventh. So now we have a diminished seventh from G up to E uh, up to F flat. So we have a diminished triad plus a, plus a diminished seventh. This is known as the full fully diminish seven. And this is where you would use your typical, oops, your normal symbol for a diminished seven. Right here, just that normal symbol for diminished plus a seven. Okay, so those are your five seventh chord types. Uh, knowing this, you should be able to build um, seventh chords as long as you know the root. Uh, you should be able to draw it, and as long as you can figure out, well, even if you don't know the root, if you're given the quality, 
whether it's a major major seven or a minor minor seventh or a fully diminished seven, whatever it may be, you should be able to build um, off of this. So again, just as a review, uh, major major seventh has a major triad plus a major seventh. A minor mi a major minor seventh has a major triad also plus a minor seventh. A minor minor seventh has a minor triad plus a minor seventh. And again, it's the only one with a minor triad. So as soon as you see that, you know it's going to be this one. Uh, half diminished is a diminished triad plus a minor seventh. And finally, a fully diminished seven is a diminished seventh, a diminished triad plus a diminished seventh. So here, if you have a major triad, it's going to be one of these two. If it's a diminished triad, it's going to be one of these two. And if it's a minor triad, it's this one.